Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Animate tutorial. In this one, we're in the latest version of Animate, and I'm going to show you how to animate using auto keyframes. This is a little different than normal. I have showed you in the last video how to animate using regular keyframes and frames, just on a frame-by-frame -frame basis, that's a better way to put it. This one, I'm going to show you how to do it using auto keyframes. All right, the first step here is I've loaded up a composition. I've got a sun, I've got some ground here, I've got some layer 5, which is not correctly named, so I'm going to name it background or BG, and then I've just got the default layer. No biggie. All right, what we want to do, we want to animate this sun using auto keyframes to go off the screen right to left. First step, I want to determine how long I want this animation to be. For this one, I'm thinking 5 seconds is good. So you'll see here on the timeline, I am just sort of scrolling over and I'm going to look for the 5S or the 150 keyframes because this is 30 keyframes times 5 seconds is 150 keyframes. I'm going to now left click on this little tab. I guess it's a tab. It's not really a button. There's no real good way to put it. Um, I'm going to click on it here. It's right under 5 seconds. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to left click and I'm going to select all of the layers. I've selected all four layers. And now I'm going to go up to the keyframe frame button here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add in keyframes. So I'm going to left click just to make sure that keyframes are selected. Left clicking, presto, we've got all of these keyframes now to five seconds. So if I scrub over, you'll see I've got that. Now, the next step is you want to take the playhead. And for this version, we're going to go from the start and we're going to make sure the playhead is at the zero second and the zero frame, or the one frame, pardon me. So we're right at the beginning. Perfect. Now, you'll notice that I am selected on the BG layer. That is not the one we want to be on. We want to animate the sun in this one. So we're going to left click on sun. Left clicking on that, you're going to see here that I've got this sun here and it's in its natural starting position at zero seconds. We now want to move the playhead forward to one second or 30 frames. And I'm going to left click on the sun and I'm going to move it forward. Now, before I do that, you are going to see here that I've got something called auto insert keyframe selected. I'm going to left click. If you do not have a check mark beside auto keyframe, you need to make sure that that is selected. And you can do that by just left clicking, holding down the left click and making sure the check marks there. Assuming you're following along with me, I just did that by accident. I didn't mean to do that. I am going to now move the sun. So I'm going to left click on the sun and I'm going to move it to the left. And let's move it to somewhere like that. When I do that, you're going to see that it has created a keyframe for us automatically. I did not have to go in and click on anything. Let me show you again. When I get to the two second mark, I'm just going to click on the sun and move it. And when I move it, I'm going to hold down the shift key so it moves in a straight manner. It automatically creates the keyframes without me having to go in and hit that button every time. Saves you a lot of time once you get rolling. Uh, I'm going to move it again over to here, let's say. That's somewhere around a three second. At four seconds, let's go to four seconds. I'm going to move it a little more. And then I just want to speed this up. And then for the fifth second, right at the end here, I'm going to, yeah, uh, let's go to the end here. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to move it off the screen. Okay, now when I click on the play button, I'm going to move the time or the playhead back to zero just to so you can see it. When I do it, you're going to see that this sun moves in one second increments. Watch. One, two, three, four. Off the screen. Okay, good. Now, while I have you here, I'm going to show you one last neat little trick while I have your attention. You'll see here that you have something called a loop as well. I'm going to go ahead and loop this so that you can watch the animation over and over and over again in case so you can, you know, make sure that you've got it correct. So I'm going to left click on the loop button. And when you do that, you're going to see that we've got some handlebars up here, or I guess you could say like a selection tool. I'm going to just pull this out, and I'm going to loop it, and I'm going to pull it right to the end. So I'm, I want it to go to the five-second mark. Where are we there? Something like that. Now that we've had it looping, I'm going to hit play again, and now watch what happens. It moves, it moves, 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 starts over from scratch. That is how you animate using auto keyframes or auto insert keyframes. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more videos coming up. Stay tuned.